Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Craft Designs. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to make an envelope for the centre of my butterfly junk journal. I toyed with the idea of doing some centre spread with lots of pockets and things, but we're already a bit chunky and I want to try making an envelope out of this gorgeous page that we've got. Right, I've gone ahead and I've taken... This is going to be the page before the envelope, yeah? And the reason I've taken that out is because I don't want the envelope to be bigger than that page. So I've used this as a bit of a guide. So what I want is I want the back of the envelope to be that, yeah, plain bit. Because we can then pop a pocket on it. And I want the flap. I've got an envelope just to show you what I mean. <laughs> so yeah. That bit that comes over the front, I want to be butterflies. And then the flap, I want to be butterflies. So, here we go. So, right. Am I going to use the top of the page or the bottom? I think I'm going to have to use the bottom because it's got more butterflies on, hasn't it? Yeah? I also don't want my envelope to be higher than this. So, let's measure this. This is... Five and an eighth, so if I make my envelope five inches, and it is by eight and a smidgen. So I'm going to make it seven and three quarters, just to make sure it's not sticking out top or bottom. So it's going to be five by seven and three quarters. So let's get my ruler and decide what would be seven and three quarters from the bottom. It would be there. But I also want half an inch either side, so it's going to have to be eight and three quarters. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I worked that out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop this down now to eight and three quarters. And I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that I've worked that out right. Because if I worked it out wrong, we may end up with a couple of tags instead of an envelope. Right, we've got the big chompy chopper for this. So, eight and three quarters we're going to cut this down to. I'm going to cut the top bit off because I want loads of butterflies. So, eight and three quarters. So, that bit's gone now. So, if I've done it wrong, it's tough. Oh, wouldn't that make a lovely folded journaling card? Yeah. I think that's what's destined to happen to that one right so now I've got to decide where to score this so we're gonna have the envelope five did we say five yeah five so we're gonna miss we're gonna hit the wing of a butterfly so which butterfly's wing do we want to miss the one that's going to be the flap, I want to see the whole wing, yeah? The one that's going to be underneath, I'm not too bothered if I miss a bit of a wing out. So I'm going to make my first score. There. No. Which side? That's going to be the flap. So I'm going to make my first score there. I've not even measured, I just know I want it there. And we want the envelope five inches wide, so I've ended up scoring at three and three quarters. So I'm then going to score at eight and three quarters, which is there. Yeah, we're going to go through with that little butterfly, but we couldn't save all the butterflies. Right, and it'll now instantly start to look a bit more like an envelope. yeah so if you were looking at it that way you'd get that that was an envelope wouldn't you but it's going to go into the book sideways so there we go that's going to be the flap that's going to be the inside yeah and we're going to need to score at half an inch on either end because we're going to make a little gusset well not a little gusset i don't even know what to call these little things that you make you know where you fold it over half an inch One. so that's half an inch there 
some will be cut and some will be scored. I've turned that round because it's much easier for me to score on right and half an inch there. We'll just miss the tip of that teeny tiny butterfly's wing but we can live with that. Right, so we decided that's going to be the flap so we need to cut that off we need to cut that off and we need to leave these two on so I'm going to go ahead and grab my Timothy Holt scissors and I'm going to be really brave and do this with scissors I'm going to cut the yeah, almond shot just to the left but you've got like a little valley where you've scored I want to get rid of the valley so I'm cutting to the left of that valley Really quiet and careful while I do this bit. <laughs> I've just had a thought. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to cut the top off and the bottom and leave that as a foldy over piece. Yeah, because then it looks more like a real envelope. So I've just changed my mind halfway through. Never ever craft along with me. First time you watch it. Because it is a woman's prerogative to change your mind. And I exercise that prerogative. <laughs> if you can exercise a prerogative, I exercise that right. To change my mind, yeah. So I'm cutting up to the fold on either. Yes, that's how I'm doing it. I've decided. Yeah, then it's like one of the envelopes you get in the kit. So if you were to take a real envelope apart, it's more like what that would be. So cut up there as well. I'm being so careful because I don't half muck stuff up sometimes me when I cut with scissors. This has got a bit slowest cut with scissors ever in the history of uh, crafting. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a happy bunny now. So I need to cut that one off. I'm going to go slightly higher and just cut that off at an angle and then I'm going to cut this one off at an angle. I have to turn it inside out to get that angle. And then this one, I want this one to look nice. I'm going to have to come in with my smaller scissors to cut along here. So again I'm going to cut just to the left of the crease. I don't want to go too far. So I'll just weaken the corner of the envelope. And then just sit right to this crease because I'm coming in on this side envelope. I hope you're following this. I could have gone ahead and made a full envelope from scratch before I did the video, but where's the fun in that? So we're cutting that there we go so I'm going to fold that in and that in and that in yeah can you see now it's like an envelope shapey type thing did that tear a bit that did it's either torn or I've cut I have I've cut too far so I'm going to save it though I'm going to save it I'm going to Cut across there. How on earth did I get? I must have already cut that far when I was deciding to put my flap in a different spot. So I'm going to do the same at this side because it's got to be a little bit matchy matchy, hasn't it? But I know this is what a lot of people say they like sometimes. How I do things wrong, then just put them right. It's that old thing, it's never wrong, it's just different. I used to say that when I was driving, when I got accused of being getting lost, I didn't get lost, I just went somewhere different. I'm just going to straighten that up. Right, there we go. So can you see now that bit doesn't go right to the top? To be honest, it will actually help that close better. And if I can, I'm going to get a corner punch in 
and punch that corner off. I don't know whether I'll be able to get the punch in. If I can't, I'm going <laughs> to round it by hand. No, it won't go in. Won't go in at all. So what I'm going to do is get something round. I'm going to use my glue lid. And I'm going to just do a little pencil mark around it. Because unless I've got a line to follow, it will be terrible. You see, just to take the corners off to round this, make it look nice. It's ish the same on the other side, ish. And ish is good enough for me. There we go. So I want to look at that from the other side. It's terrible. So I'm just going to snip a little bit off. I'd sort of made pointy edges. That's it. And the same on that one. And oh, why can't I get my scissors in there? Don't cut too much off. Don't cut too much off. I've done it. Right, so that will be like that. There you go. And that will then be our envelope. I'm going to close this with... Um, I am, I am. I'm going to close it with that. I'm going to close it with Velcro, I think. Yep. So, I'm going to get rid of the scoreboard now because I no longer need it. I'll just be working on my surface. I'll grab my bone folder. I'm just going to come in and burnish these two. They're folded. This is easiest envelope in the world, isn't it? Eee. If you get confused trying to work out how an envelope goes, as you say I did part way through, just take an envelope of the style you're trying to make and just unfold it, take it apart. And there you've got a ready-made envelope template yeah right I'm deciding now if I want I don't want to put a dip in I don't need one because that dips down low enough I do however want to round those corners and I think I want to use my largest one which is my 10 millimeter one I won't be sealing this envelope because I'm going to sew that into the journal as the centre signature. So that's the last page before the envelope. Let's check if it fits. That's going to go, there you go. So you think you've got a boring sheet of music paper you turn over. You've got that gorgeous envelope. I love this sheet of paper. And it's just as gorgeous there. Really happy with that. Don't think I want to ink that. But what I do want to do is pop a pocket on that side because that side is looking a little bit plain and uninteresting isn't it so what shall we make we could make two pockets we could make like a stack pocket couldn't we hey. oh i think you know how i said that will make a lovely folded journal card it's not going to because i'm now going to use it for the pockets Right, we know that's five inches wide. I don't want to make my pockets the full five inch because that's going to be sewn into the centre of journal and if the pocket goes right to the edge, we'll have trouble turning that over. So I'm going to make my pocket, um, yeah, four and a half. Four and a half. And I think I will, do I want it to just be a flat pocket? I think a flat pocket will be enough because the envelope is going to have things stuffed in it. So I'm going to cut that piece and that piece both down to four and a half inches. And we'll get the baby trimmer out for that. We don't need that big chompy thing. Let's see, four and a half. I'm wondering if I just want to do the top pocket with that and save that piece as a tag. I do. Because I think, yeah. Yeah, it'll all become clear in a minute. And I'm going to 
trim that pocket down so it's not so tall as well. So that ended up being two and uh, yeah, two and three eighths. Yeah. So that's what it'll look like. Put your trimmer out at way so it's not casting shadows, woman. So that will be one pocket. And then that one's going to be another pocket there. This does need inking because we need some definition on edge of these pockets. We do. So I'm going to grab my... Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to go for my usual walnut stain or whatever's already on this. Do you know that actually I think we need some divot marks. Divot? Yeah? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Them. Yeah, them. Them little notches. I either can never decide what they're called, remember what they're called, or actually pronounce what they're called. I'm going to do some dodgy here. Well, not dodgy. Risky. I'm going to try and do them both at once, and it's scrapbook paper. And my punch might grumble and groan at me, but we'll see, won't we? If I break it, at least you'll know not to do it yourself. Oh, it did it. Do you know I'm loving this Fiskars punch? I'm, I normally say that the um, EK Success ones are better, and they usually are. They'll usually cut through better than these little lever ones, but this Fiskars one's a bit of a star. Yeah, I like that. And those are now lined up. I'm going to grab my ink because I need some more. Um, so yeah, I'll probably end up inking around the rest of the envelope. I'll see what it looks like when I've got these pockets stuck on. I don't need to do it bottom of that because it's going to be covered. I don't think I've got any stacked pockets in this journal anywhere. That always used to be a must have when I did a journal and I don't always have to do them now. I suppose I'm, I'm favouring other things. Oh yeah, that's going to look lovely on there. But I do think it all needs inking. Oh, back does anyway, I don't know about front. It just looked odd not being inked when pockets were inked there. And because this paper's so gorgeous, this doesn't need any further embellishment. And we've got a couple of extra pockets for things. So that's that. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just grab my scoreboard again, just to show you another way I use it. I've showed you me use it like this before. I use it to help me line things up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that pocket onto that pocket, yeah, and then I'll stick them onto the other, onto the envelope in one go. So I'm going to grab some glue. Here we go. Use my last bit of art glitter. So, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue at the top on this one. Come on, glue. Come out, come out wherever you are. I am pinning, honest. I am pinning. Let's try poking it with another pin that's straighter. I hope you can still see it's just gone really dark here. Like we're going to have a storm, but it's been doing that for days. And we've not had a storm. What on earth is clearing this glue? Ah, there it is. It will be in shy. It didn't want to come out to play. So yeah, I'm putting glue on the top of that one. And then on the bottom of this one to make sure the glue meets. I hope you've gone for my Anita's. That's really not wanting to come out. I'm going to go for my Anita's. Tacky glue. There we go. I think it really is now empty. That bottle of art glitter. I'm going to have to give it up as a bad job. I'm just going to wipe that because I've gone a bit high. I'm just going to put a bit more on here because I'm very stingy with that art glitter weight not wanting to come out. Wow, that took some doing that. That were like the ink trials. And I want it just there. So I'm using this left hand edge. Make sure it's all lined up nicely. 
And then I moved it. And no, I didn't. I just straightened it. Of course I did, yeah. I meant to. It was planned that. Planned it. And this is why I end up getting glue on here. Don't let your glue dry on there or you won't be able to run your tool down. So that's that. And then I'm going to go and stick it onto the envelope itself. I think that's going to look lovely in the centric journal. Right. Ah, oh, we've got glue that's working. I can never do straight line of glue, me. Looks like you're drawing a river when you know when you're younger. I don't know if everyone does it. Uh, used to draw. I used to love to draw maps. <laughs> My own little made-up maps. And you put the rivers on and they're out. You always did them wonky like that, didn't you? Well, I did. Maybe I was just a strange child who liked drawing maps. I'll tell you when my kids had to do uh, pirate maps at school, theirs were best ever. They got inked to within an inch of their life. I could age them up. Right, so that's it. That's the pocket. I've not put in anything in it because I've not got anything to put in it. And that, I just love that. That might need some fastener on. I don't know. Let's grab the journal and see what it looks like inside it. <coughs> so, I'll move that glue out of it where I don't want to go on my journal. If you've not seen any of this butterfly journal, I'll... I've always got the playlist linked in the description when I'm doing anything for it. It's very nearly finished. I decided to decorate before sewing in the centre, uh, sewing in the signature on this one. Right, let's put the paper back in, my music paper. And then let's put, oh, I think that looks lovely. Do you know, I'm saying I think it looks lovely, I did have the idea of swapping that page for that page and you know i think that will look better i think that looks better doesn't it that does look better that yeah yeah i like it better that way rather than music paper so those two pages just got swapped <laughs> that one's a bit skinnier but as long as my envelope's not bigger than the last couple of pages i'm a happy bunny so that's that I think I'm going to fasten it with a Velcro. I may come in and do a string button closure. I think I'll leave that decision till weekend when I'm doing final little bits. But either way, that will not happen until after I've sewn in the signature because that is in effect the centre page. So there it is. How to make an envelope and how to really decide on which bits of paper are going to be showing on the flap and the bottom I and mean, we could have had that either way around yeah I just liked it better that way and I do think you'll agree so thank you very much for watching me just a little quick one today that went it and I will see you tomorrow with something else <laughs> I'm going to tell you what and I can't remember so yeah I'll see you with something tomorrow thank you very much for watching see you next time bye